<laughs> um, and you know, since Ayaka is a girl and she seems to be more comfortable whenever the traveler's around. And well, Goro's. I don't know. Goro's Goro. <laughs> He's just here. <laughs> He's literally just here. Um, so my dinner is ready, um, but I want you to start up a share place on that way my PlayStation don't turn off, because if I'm, ho hopefully this is gonna work, I will probably distract myself. After then, since it's like a few hours left. Yeah, why not? Alright. Okay. Considering that such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event. That's all. Oh, Paimon gets it! So what you're saying is, you're not very busy right now. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event rules! <laughs> Only Paimon could be so natural at ordering others around. However, the possibility remains that we may yet require your assistance. Uh, sorry. What did you say? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Seeing as I apparently have some time, I suppose we may chat about the event for a moment. Yippee! As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forest. Before the start of each round, participants will be divided into teams of two. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around the Chinju Forest area. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that round? Huh. So there's gonna be multiple rounds to the test of courage? Precisely. There will be a total of three rounds in the Test of Courage because the event was actually orchestrated by three different parties. Merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find. So, naturally, the event will require three rounds to determine the winners. Ah, Paimon gets it! So basically, it boils down to searching for stuff in Chinju Forest. We'll need to find one item each round for a total of three items after three rounds. Huh. Simple enough for Paimon. Yes, seems you've got the gist of it. We will be issuing different rewards based on the number of rounds won. So, if a participant wins multiple rounds, then that will also be reflected in their final reward. If a participant manages to find all three items, then they shall receive the grand prize provided by the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ooh, a grand prize? Sounds like it could be really valuable. As for its true value, I'm afraid you'll have to win the event first and ask Lady Guji yourself. Of course, this event is intended to measure your courage. If you withdraw from the event because you become too frightened, then you might as well forget about seeing any rewards. I'm curious myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. It'll be most disappointing if nobody claims the prizes we've prepared. Don't worry, those prizes are as good as ours! Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down Paimon's little spine, the Traveler will be brave enough, no doubt about that. I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you perform. Anyway... I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. As for the three items you'll be searching for, please wait for a staff member to inform you at the start of the event. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of Courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Whoa. Spooky things in Chinju Forest! Ah! Oh no, even you're trying to scare Paimon! Anyway, we got an event to win! Grand prize, here we come!
Hold it right there. Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres. Didn't expect to see you here. Huh? I would know that voice. <gasps> it's Ito! What are you doing here? Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage. <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. I mean, well, uh, that's what I really want to say. <laughs> but uh, I have actually got something else going on. Oh? What's that? Ah, it's a long story. As soon as I heard about the test of courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. But, uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Shinju Forest? We've already been there a million times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. What a waste of time. Let's play some genius invocation TCG. Seriously? Test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nuh-uh, not in my gang. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Dragging the gang to an event they don't want to go to won't be the best for your reputation as a leader. Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and tantalizing experiences for everyone. A happy gang means a happy life. Even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way or another, I'll show them how much fun a test of courage can be. Anyway, I'm no stranger to Chinju Forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. Like, seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not gonna be a test of courage, now is it? Not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it still boils down to you. Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated, you don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided to step in and spice things up a little. Wait, you don't seriously mean that... Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is gonna be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. But it's gonna take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Come on, come scare people with me, please. No way! Pretty please? Forget it! Pretty, pretty please? Ah, oh, fine. But don't forget, we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out, just don't get in the way of our prize. Ah, <laughs> yes! You're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry, with me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. All right, those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> what a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk, Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Hey, Traveler, Paimon, enough chit-chat. We're gonna miss the event. Ah, uh, coming! Paimon! Ah! Oh, don't sneak up on Paimon like that! What do you want? 
Nah, nothing. I just had a thought occur to me. I want to scare the gang members real good, but now that I think about it, I never actually scared anyone before. <sighs> You're only now realizing this? Practice? Oh, now there's an idea. Hey, uh, I've got it. Why don't you join the test of courage like everyone else, and I'll go hide and try to scare you from time to time. Then you two can judge my scaring skills. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. Let me go get ready. Just wait. You'll see how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> and there he goes, running off and still talking to himself. Well... We were here to join the event anyway. Guess we'll just have to pass Ito's little test along with whatever else the event throws at us. Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Let's go talk to her. Here to participate in the test of courage. Yep, that's right. Uh, judging from your outfit, you must be one of the shrine maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine. That's right. Huh. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, truly ominous. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep, and the darkness will swallow you up. <laughs> oh, what's with the sinister laugh? Is she really a shrine maiden? Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Sure, you could say that. You know... The most unfortunate tales always happen unexpectedly on just a normal, average day. Just like today. But no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Everything was already set into motion the moment you two stepped into this place. Just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already decided on your partner? Ah, you finally said something that Paimon can understand! Yep, the two of us will be partners. We always make the best team. Hmm? But it appears your names were written together as a single participant. The Traveler and Paimon. Which means you'll have to find yourselves another partner in order to join the event. Wait, are you serious? Ugh. If only Ito hadn't gone running off on his own, we could have had a partner. Now what should we do? As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to designate a partner. You could go ask around. Just be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh-oh. We can't let that happen. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. Traveler, Paimon, I didn't expect to run into you here. We're here for the test of courage. How about you? Well, I was originally headed to Yai Publishing House to hand in the responses for this month's issue of That's Life. But I had no idea that that crafty fox would be there. She brought up the test of courage event and suggested I give it a try. I wasn't interested, but she said... The mighty general of Watatsumi Island isn't afraid of anything, is he? Uh, and before I knew it, I found myself caught in her 
persuasive mind games. <sighs> I immediately regretted it the moment I arrived here. There could be traps everywhere. Oh, this event's sounding more and more dangerous. Uh, my instinct tells me that the forest is chock full of ambushes. One misstep, and it'll be over. Perhaps that, uh, crafty fox is hiding somewhere in the dark, waiting for another opportunity to tease me. Who knows? She might even use a camera and send embarrassing photos back to Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency once said, when you march into an ambush, escape the enemy vanguard. When escape is impossible, and seek ample reinforcements. Hmm. Now that you're here, maybe we can turn the tables. Could I ask you two to partner up with me? Oh, sure. I completely understand. Perhaps you have a friend you'd like to enter the test of courage with? Anyway, whoever you decide to partner up with, the most important thing is to enjoy the event. Good luck! Hey. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> so, my little experiment. I don't. Um. It seems to not have worked. Because the message saying um, the game's going to go into risk mode popped up. The event would be most interesting, and suggested that I personally participate. I have never experienced a test of courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper respect and have brought shame upon my clan. Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners for the event? I feel like I might go Actually, with Gora. Because he expressed how afraid he is that Yamiko is just going to appear right somewhere, so I want to. I feel like I want to hold his hand. In that case, <laughs> how would you like to be my partner? Oh, I think I might go with Ayaka. As much as I want to go Kazuha. I always feel it easy oh, more by my side. Uh, but of course, please don't let me get in the way right. if you wish to participate. I'm going to leave with the share play. Sure. And then I'm going to go and for you here. do you this event like as well. Because ever since I brought up um, Ito just appearing and smashing Goro's face with a young Miko cut out is like I really want that to happen. It probably isn't, but now that I've thought of it, I feel like it might. So I want to see. I knew that I'd see you Wait, so because like, oh, go on. I just don't know if he knows that he's afraid of her or not. I didn't expect to see you at the test of courage. Okay, so. Do I seem unsuited for this? No, it, it's right? confirmed that Ito wants to scare yeah, people, eh? It's just that... Yeah. Hyman's never seen you yeah, get scared, okay. Kazuha. You're always so calm and collected. It's like you've never been scared by anything. You flatter me. I suppose that's only a reflection of my time wandering in the wilderness. I've heard many strange stories in my travels. No promises. <laughs> I can say I've even experienced a few myself. Over time, I must have gotten used to it. Ah, that makes sense. But, uh, why do you want to join the Test of Courage? After hearing the Yashiro Commission promote the rewards for this event, I was guessing that you two would show up. Since we hadn't seen each other for some time, I figured I might as well come and see you. After all, meeting someone after being apart for so long always lifts the spirits. Oh, so you were waiting for us? That's right. So tell me, how has your journey been lately? Things have gone pretty well. Uh, by the way, the Shrine Maiden told us that everyone needs a partner to participate in the Test of Courage event. Have you found a partner yet, Kazawa? No, not yet. Do you need me to be your partner? Take your time. <coughs> I'm You'll pretty sure whoever we don't talk later, um, pa so partner no up with will go with this other person. Instant. We could even mm, go I together so. for a late night snack once the event is over. Hmm. Oh my god, she's following me! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, Damn, I kinda... decided whether or not to... Great! This will be your chance to fight side by side once again! 
If you around, there's nothing to fear. That crap in Fox's games are over. Yeah, I chose Goro. And he is genuinely convinced AI is just gonna appear somewhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> he keeps it talking about like her as if she's just gonna appear out of a tree somewhere. The event is just about to start. I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. It's called Dongo Milk. Ooh. Dongo Milk? Correct. Tomoki was kind enough to provide us with his Dongo Milk, and it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju Forest. The path will be marked with signs to guide you. But some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, if you're ready, then you may begin. We don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go! 